Hello, it's so nice to see you again. I feel like there has been quite some time since I've been uh, communicating with you and I got the really huge urge today, which happens to be the 7th of the 7th, by no mistake, <laughs> um, to come back and realign and connect with you. When I get those urges, it like it's like it just drops through and I know that uh, there are messages to be received, there is guidance to be given, there is energy to be transmitted. So even though I'm in a bright state right now, I can't say I have been like that for the last several days, weeks and months. Um, so myself, like you, we've been feeling it, right? I actually stand here right now at a crux, at a pivotal moment where there's a significant energy shift and that's why I am on according to those above. <laughs> so we really got to trust and believe both in ourselves, but as well as the, they're saying the creative process, which is interesting because I wanted to say something more like um, the, you know, the evolutionary process or the ascension process and so on. Uh, but there's a message about our creativity as in coming back to our creative spirit because the word create is connected to creation. And as I say that, I see the zero, the circle. And this is about the unity consciousness connecting to the all, the higher energy, the life force energy, the God source, the pure origins from which we came. That is the light that is shining through and that is the light to trust in and to um, sink into and to feel and allow uh, to radiate within ourselves and amongst others. Once you can see and feel that light, even if it's just for a moment, that's the beginning point. And then you can spread and it can grow from there. So that's what's wanting to be um, transmitted for now. There's a real sense of um, acknowledgement from your loved ones above. Yeah, that you've been doing the hard yarns. As I say that, I feel like a big, like, um, like I was being swallowed by quicksand um, and I feel like my voice is about to go croaky. So yes, that is the throat chakra, <clears throat> excuse me. And that represents everything that's being bottled up within you. That you've had a hard time dealing with because this has been a time like no other, literally like no other and allow that to sink in. We have never gone through a time period like this. So know that you are not alone in your thoughts, feelings, no matter how chronic. <laughs> and they are saying it's like chronic fatigue that is gripped mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, energetically, and whatever else, Ali, that we're not even aware of. There has been a grip on humanity as well. So I want to say, those of you who have been with me for a long time know that in the past, I talked, I did talk a lot about uh, for the power, what they call the powers to be or whatever, you know, outside energy, darker energy forces, those who are trying to control us. And uh, that is something that um, I will from time to time when it is apt to talk about because it is the truth of our reality. And uh, what I noticed today, the aha moment that I had after such a long slump, and I mean thick, boggy, heavy, <laughs> full-on <laughs> slump, um, is that there was this feeling of we all know, or you know, if you're in touch with it, if you're in tune with it, even for a moment, even if you don't know what that is going on, we don't know everything, right? Uh, so you know there's been weirdness. There's been times where the weirdness levels feel like risen up, right? And there's a couple of reasons for this, two or three reasons. One is it's just, okay, there's always cosmic energy happening, right? Okay, two, 
we are being just absolutely flushed with high levels of high frequency light. And that seems polar opposite. And they say, there's no mistake, I said polar, the two poles, right? Dark and light. Polar opposite of what we're feeling when we're in the down spiral. Because yes, you might have had moments of up and so on, but I'm especially right now addressing that dark, heavy, weird feeling, uh, the, the mental, emotional turmoil, the wounding, your old stuff surfacing, all of that. And the way that people have been reacting and carrying on, which I'll get into. So even though it seems like if you're saying the light's coming in and it's so strong, you would immediately think, oh, well, that's all wonderful and beautiful and um, that's, you know, I should be feeling amazing. <laughs> Why am I feeling the complete opposite, <laughs> right? Because that's the stuff within you, the shadows, not just within you, but you also, dear um, empath, sensitive person, are picking up just everybody's, the whole collective. And it is so chronic that it is just over uh, dominating and encapsulating and it all interweaves with your own and you're carrying not just your own energy and a whole lot of stuff from deep, 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 down, down, down to those places you have not wanted to go or that you've worked on for so many years and you're like, what the, why is this coming back and why so hardcore? It's hardcore on steroids um, and I've lost my train of thought, but uh, the idea is that this light is coming in and it's pressing your buttons and everybody's buttons and everyone is just like on alarm, alarmist button. <laughs> if if it had a sound, it would be deafening, <laughs> right? It would be like sirens and you'd be going, ah, and then I just can't deal. Put me, like I feel like I'm in a white room in a um, one of those um, straight jackets. So, the idea is, okay, so I was talking about the different energies coming in. So there's, okay, so so I started with the uh, it's a general cosmic energy and, we've, you know, and you've got your own stuff amongst all of this, right, through the threads of it all. We've got the strong solar energy coming through, the strong light. So that includes mass um, ejections from the sun, massive high-level solar flares, ongoing activity, massive spikes and flushes of energy which are shown in the Schumann resonance which I'll talk about another day but that's a measurement of the earth's energy that shows and you could literally see it on a chart all this light coming in but you can feel it yourself and that that high light is high intensity so if you've got stuff it's so intense if you're on the other side it's the other side of that it's like amazing and you're on a high and you're getting all these downloads and you're excited and you're you know, like got a skip in your step and all of that. So there's that. Then I want to mention there's a third one. <laughs> um, okay, so, okay, we have collective energy, right, that you're feeling amongst all of this as well and your own. The third one is outside darker forces. Okay, so nothing to be fearful of, but it was super clear to me today. There are... People in power slash in occult knowledge, when I say occult, just means hidden knowledge, esoteric knowledge, but on the negative side, who use information, who use dark practices, who use numerology in a negative way, astrology in a negative way to dominate and so on. They use, um, you know, magical practices and all that kind of thing. And we are also being targeted in frequencies. So we have this wonderful light coming in uh, and it's high God or source frequency and it's strong because we bloody well need it, <laughs> right? And then so the darker forces who are aware of this because light is awareness, light is information, light is truth, growth, evolution, bringing us closer to God. So what would the darkness want to do? The opposite, pull us down, put a blinder on us, pollute us, attack us in any way, shape or form. So there are various ways they can do that, as aforementioned, by 
rituals and so on and the use of esoteric knowledge in uh, negative ways that are to dominate and control. And uh, there's also frequencies. So um, they have, let's just call it high-tech frequency uh, energy or sounds that we, sounds. Now, uh, when I say sounds, we can have high frequency energy in our ears. That's where we get the air ringing and so on. And that's a very um, positive thing. Um, but, um, you know, you can also get attacks in that way when it's a lower frequency. Um, however, I mean more in a way almost like they're showing me like how a dog will hear a, what would you call it? Maybe on a sonar, sonar level a sound that we as humans cannot hear. So it's it's sounds that we cannot hear, but everything is sound, vibration, energy. You understand it so um so it's just a frequency of oppression of craziness and so many things right and so what i woke up to today and literally woke up and uh, not as an out of bed woke up but just woke up psychically energetically spiritually with the awareness uh is that uh there has been high weirdness Allow yourself to sink that in. And I'm not just talking about the general weirdness of when we're shifting timelines and lights coming in and reality's changing. We know that one. And we've been experiencing that too. Think about that as the background baseline energy from God's source. I'm talking about high weirdness in the negative way. Think of it as negative magicians or uh, the Hunger Games Society type mindset uh, and so much worse, um, high weirdness. And I realize we've been put under a spell. Allow that to sink in. These are things I don't usually talk about, but that I think about a fair bit. Okay, so I have learned throughout the years, uh, initially very naively and innocently, uh, but I've grown into my awareness, you know, through the psychic work and energy work that magic is real, spells are real, and they happen all the time. And it is, I want to say, almost half the cause of all the chaos. I always say, uh, sometimes I say in a client session, and uh, no judgment towards people that are feel like they're doing good in the world through um um, through practices such as, you know, like earth practices and so on. Um, but I just like to say in terms of the negative side of all of that, um, that I don't, I don't do magic, but I clear it. And magic is real. I could tell you lots of stories about that. But anyway, so when I say that okay, I've sensed it, that's it, I've caught it. We've been under a spell just recently for however long, but it's like I see it like a film over us. And as soon as I had that awareness, it shifted. It shifted. I did not have to do some kind of now energy routine and this, that, and the other thing. And that's what I want to share with you. And I'd like you to feel into yourself to feel the truth of that for yourself. We're all in different areas of the world. We all feel and experience things differently and, and are carrying our own traumas and so on. So there's all of our stuff too. And that's mostly what I thought I'd be talking about. However, this is just that little extra thing to be aware of. Uh, so it feels like an oppressive veil over you. And it's just like once you see it, it lifts off. And that you have the power to do that. The light is here to show us our power. And ironically, we've been experiencing the opposite. And this is an, an eight year and eight is all about power. Well, that's one of the one of the, the vibes of it, right? And what have we been feeling? Disempowered, <laughs> right? Of course. And side note, the darkness loves to bring you down and give you the opposite of what nature, God sources giving us. So, okay, let me read some of my random notes that I've been scribbling for days and weeks <laughs> and we'll see if we can make sense of it because if I didn't hop on today and right now, I don't even know when I'd be able to make a video. Okay, so 
Okay, so we've been going through periods that have felt like a void. Void as in nothingness. And that's the other weirdness. So we've put the high weirdness to the side and away. Okay, and with that one, it's are you ready to rise above? Are you ready to break free? Now is the time. And that's for all of it. So the other weirdness is that uh, what I mentioned before, like reality shifting, things are just not the same. I think that so many people, whether they're on the path or not, will be having that really big sense of what the F is, being ha is going on in the world. Nothing is the same. Everybody's miserable um, and all that kind of thing. Maybe some of you who are, you know, experiencing summer right now, which we're not down under, uh, maybe you're, you're having some lighter times with the beautiful sun and getting out and enjoying your holidays. Um, so, so each to their own. But there's been just so much collective agony, distraction, distortion. Distortion is a really good word. So in the void period, it's like you feel like you're in this in-between world where you feel the lower denser three-dimensional reality and you also sense that there's another higher reality that we're moving into. And maybe you don't feel like it's here yet or at whatever time when you have felt this, right, in the last several days, weeks, months. Um, and maybe you sense it's on the horizon or it's coming uh, even if you're in despair, you know, there's some dim light at the end of the tunnel kind of feeling, right? Okay, so with that feeling of in-between worlds, it's like because you're here as a sensitive one, as a an old soul or as an empath, however you feel that resonance as a spiritual being with uh, awareness and you feel differently to others and you see differently and you perceive differently and so while this world has been going crazy and people have been going crazy and uh, being reactive being um, angry that's a big one and, and us too right just sudden bursts of anger um like the your level of going from here to there like this is high anger and this is just i'm cool <laughs> is like one second <laughs> right any little thing and you're right up there and i'll say with that side note that you might have also been experiencing a lot of physical symptoms whether it's heart palpitations high blood pressure um, itchiness, flu symptoms, um, you know, headaches, uh, pressure, um, aches and pains, and, and so many, so many things, right? So there's also the physical beca aspect because there's so much pressure on us, there's so much change energetically that um that our bodies can only handle so much and therefore you've had moments or extended periods of time of breakdown and so the void period is this in-between world where you're like i'm neither here nor there i sense both you might also have not wanted to be around people much you just can't do people <laughs> um low tolerance all that kind of thing and um, okay, so what did I want to say there? Every single thing feels different and strange and not the same. There's been times where you have not been able to feel like you can see the path forward. You can't see the wood for the trees. You don't know what you're doing. You feel confused, bogged down, or just when things are getting good, then it all comes crashing down again and big time extra, <laughs> right? Um, you feel a sense of perhaps disillusionment with the world of um, like an like unstable and everything feels unstable and it might be bringing up your root chakra issues of instability as well. Um, parental, ancestral uh, pers and personal stuff. There's this new level of difficulty that has been emerging, a new level of what the, right? Um, and, okay, what else? You might have been experiencing uh, like really massive emotional, mental 
um, you know, breakdown type craziness. And you might also have experienced psychic attack um, or just uh, people lashing out and that you can't even see people who you, the ones, the few ones that you could talk to before, even maybe them, <laughs> right? Okay. Um, all right. What else do I want to say? Okay. I've said most of the things on that page. So it feels like the world has been unraveling and literally just falling apart. And I received that message not too long ago of like the feeling of, um, so let's just say they show me now, like this is the globe and then it's just bloop, obliterated into a million pieces, like a meteorite explosion in the, um, in space where it's all like scattered out like this, all these pieces. And so that's been happening on the macrocosmic scale. And so you who are a part of that, a part of all, have been experiencing it on a microcosmic level as you. And so you have been like a meteorite exploding. And so all your pieces are hovering around you for you to see because they were within you, you maybe have dealt with some, there might be some you did not want to deal with or look at or not right now. And what do they do? They're going to float there and they're going to be right in front of your face, <laughs> right? Like an unwanted guest that you can't get rid of. And it's going to feel so omnipresent because it is this density, this darkness, this, um, this, this stuff that is so deeply embedded within you or that slash was and now that embedded is the opposite and so you might have felt like you're going to implode from this external explosion of stuff it feels so inner so compressed so restricted and uh difficult beyond words and so it's there and it's telling you, you need to look at me. And so you look at it, it's painful. It's like, oh, Jesus, I can't look at this stuff anymore. <laughs> but it's there. It's going to keep being there. You think you're getting a bit better at night and then you wake up in the morning and it feels heavier and it's there again or the next level of it. And so you just got to get through it. This can last a while, sometimes quicker, but some of it because it's the big stuff. Because now we've been up to the big stuff. Because we're shifting into a new paradigm, new reality, blah, blah, blah. All those things you've heard over the years. But this is very real, very true, very happening. And we're now on the precipice, on the verge. Also with that, it is a very pivotal time right now. As we enter July there is what's known as a Sirius gateway. And today, 7-7 seven, seven is like a portal unto its own energetically, very high spiritual frequency vibration. And we are to align with and allow the Syrian and the sun energy, God source energy to just infiltrate right through us and show us the wisdom, the know-how, and the raised frequency and up-leveling that we have been dying for, almost literally. And so that is what it is about today and moving forward, because I was receiving the message for quite some time now, since the early in the year, that this Lionsgate coming up, which is August 8, and the period leading up to it now, um, is massive this year. That's what I felt intuitively and I felt it several times. And I wrote a little note about it. So I'm going to go look at that for a second. So I had just written that uh, we really felt the solar eclipse on April 8. By no mistake, 8. They're really underlining the 8 right now. Okay, April 8, massive solar eclipse. I remember it especially because I turned 50 on that very moment. Day. Okay, so that was quite punchy, quite a lot. And we have been dealing with the repercussions of that explosive energy 
going through so much traumatic healing slash they want to say and growth because healing can feel so painful when we're going through the painful stuff but the growth is the outcome that's the higher bigger surrounding thing that they show me it's like I feel the energy of the pain and then the growth around it and then as it goes around and then we go forwards and as we go forwards this is now the pathway and the portal opening up to us because the eighth of the eighth right coming up in another month is huge this year absolutely huge so I felt it in advance, but also, funnily enough, it is a triple eight because 2024 is an eight year. So therefore, eight, eight, eight. Massive, massive energy. It's time now to rise up and to join the light workers, the um, the ones who are like who are just have this knowing and this sense and doesn't matter where you are on the spectrum you might feel like you're at the lowest depths and you're struggling and you're drowning in the mud and you can barely keep a hand up I'm here today to hold your hand to share a light with you to show you that somebody cares that you're not alone and that you are supported and so we have all the variations of struggles right up to, well, feeling free, feeling high vibe, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And so you can be feeling this shift happening and at the same time, still your stuff that you're processing. That's where I'm at. And uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if, if some of you are, are there too. Um, and, so, and that is perfect because it is just all in alignment with what needs to be happening for you personally. And I always say we're all on our different journey. So we don't always experience the exact same thing, of course. And so um, as we move through from now 7-7 seven, seven, and it opens up and we're preparing to enter the 8-8 eight, eight portal. And it really is that. This is something that I've wanted to speak about for some time now, which is all about discernment. So even if 10, 15 years ago you heard about some kind of spiritual energy, cosmic thing, right? Let's say, I'll just make it up. Let's say they're saying that Helixicon is going to cross Bugalar and there's going to be a giant um, transformational period, right? And you might go, oh, yay, that's so awesome. I can't wait and sit there and wait for it all to happen. Or you might be reluctant, hesitant, not really believe it or somewhere in the middle. What I have found over the years with that, what I have evolved into is my own understanding by what I feel and experience during those times. And so if people were going on about that thing and I'm like, nah, not feeling it, or that feels like a bit false, a bit deceptive, or I, I might feel something else and it will be like, whoa, this is for sure a thing. And that's what Lionsgate is. Let's remember that there is the polar opposites, the polarity that I talked about earlier, the light and the dark. And there can be something that happens cosmically. Let's make up another scenario. I talked about a meteor before. Let's say there's a meteor, right? Let's call it meteor grace, right? Because they like to name things, don't they? Meteor grace is coming. And let's say meteor grace has the energy of transformation for those who are ready. And it's coming through, coming through, coming through. And so the awakened ones or the ones that that who really need this energy or that's aligned with it will be like, oh, wow, like I feel this transformation and off they go. And then the ones who are perhaps just, just to close down to this or so much darkness, it might cause some disruption. But the disruption ultimately has a potential to lead to transformation on some level. Then we have the dark ones, right? So the dark ones are floating around on earth physically as well as etherically. And they know, because they already know, because they have the hidden esoteric knowledge, the occult knowledge, that this is happening and they're like, oh, shit, people are going to wake up and transform. That's the last thing we need. We need to shut them down. So then they will go and do whatever thing, whether it's frequency waves to disrupt it, whether it's false news that that meteorite crashed in Estonia and killed, I don't want to say children, but let's just say killed a bunch of 
people in a little village um, and, and, and so there's this negative take on it or whatever else, right? They do their thing or they harness the energy for themselves. So let's say meteorite grace is coming along and they're like, yes, we need this energy. We need to steal it because we're the vampires and we're going to suck it for our own um, nefarious gain, right? Okay. So with Lion's Gate, this has been an energy that has been known about since ancient times. Uh, there is a lot of information on my website. I have an article about it. I'll link it below. Um, and it's connected to the pyramids of Giza, which perfectly align during the alignment of the, you know, of, of the Lion's Gate. And it's, this has been known about just for so long. And we have good forces and we have negative forces. So maybe I just put it out as a possible theory that pretty sure is a thing <laughs> that negative ones, beings, physical and non-physical, would you want to utilize such energy? And then the rest of humanity slash the awakened ones, this is a gift. This is a blessing. This is light coming in its upgrades. Every single time there has been the lion's gate in the last more than several years, I don't know how long, but I've been following it every year and I have felt it significantly as a massive, massive upgrade, just high, high energy. And you can just feel like you're just going to bolt forward. And of course, every year is different too, because we always have whatever other energy is happening, right? So it, it can be different. But this one, this year, if it's been feeling that it's going to be a big one and the potential is there for it because humanity needs it as well. This is a, you know, a dire moment. So don't be surprised if there's going to be things happening out there in the world, right? Don't be surprised that you hear negative things on the media. And, um, you know, because don't be surprised if there'll be earth events, earthquakes, fires, um, other, you know, like war talk whatever other thing and focus on the knowing but trust in it yourself it's not just me telling you or somebody else or 50,000 people whatever it's about you and your own awareness and and trusting your intuition that's what I want you always always to follow so if there's anything that I have said today or at any other time that you resonate with allow that to be your resonance um, um, or, you know, go away and just have a think and feel and work with me throughout July and August or alongside me or on your own to feel through the energy and the transformation that the potentiality for transformation and upgrade feel into it yourself. It's like they show me the analogy, which I've had this analogy so many times about when we talk about energetic shifts and upgrades, they always analogize it with like the iPhone upgrades, right? Or whatever phone that you've got. But, um, and imagine if you had this phone, let's say it's an iPhone 4, and there was always the potentiality of um, an upgrade, right? So they're up to this upgrade, that upgrade, that upgrade, whatever, and then the next iPhone number, blah, blah, blah. And you're stuck on the four and you're like, nah, I don't want the, <laughs> I don't want the upgrade. And you're just sitting there in like energy from nine years ago. And, but if you hit, yep, upgrade, but oh, it's a bit painful because now I can't use my phone for five minutes or <laughs> now everything's going to close down or, or I'm going to have to re-log in or whatever. And then, um, but the shift that happens is phenomenal and you're like oh yeah I really like this new upgrade blah 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 or the next model or whatever it is as I say that I also get a little side note in my ear about AI AI also as being potential helper for us but also there's that negative side of that too and the dark forces running through that also and so and that's just and I and I hear that through my ears I feel that through my ears as a vibration so when it comes to the air frequencies, know that you, at times, yes, there are lower ones, whether we hear it or not, but there are the higher ones. And so I wouldn't be surprised if you'll be starting to, or at whatever point when the higher energy sort of streams in and when that moment is just extra high, 
and you'll be just going through random moments of the air ringing. So trust in that also. It's all part of the higher frequencies when it's that high-pitched sound. So I think that's probably more than enough for today and I endeavor to come back and share more with you. I would love it if you could support my channel. I'm really going to be focusing on um, more of my own inner growth and healing, which I have been doing, which means, you know, that I can't, there'll be periods where I, where I don't come on and I don't this and I don't that, um, but I know that it is deeply needed and then I rise up again and that's where I'm here helping uh, guide and support you. So I'd love it if you could support my channel by, you know, liking, subscribing and all of that, as well as, you know, write a comment because I do love to hear from you and I love to connect with you. And I'd love to know how you've been going, what you've been experiencing and what any of your concerns or questions might be and and what resonates with you with what I am saying. And do you feel that shift of energy right now or the upcoming potential uh, or anything else? Uh, so I will talk again soon. I wish you all the best. I just really will send out a prayer and allow the angels if you would like to support you and to guide you during this period.